Well, in this lecture, you would find some solved problems related to compaction of soils, and then you would find some information related to soil volume change characteristics. In the first part of this lecture, you would find the solved examples. You can see this is the first problem. The solution is given and this is the next problem and the step-by-step -step solution is provided on this particular slide. Then you can see this problem and the solution is given on this particular slide. The next problem is this one and uh, you would find the solution on the next slide. And this is the next problem. The statement is given on this slide and uh, this is the solution. So all these problems have been solved step by step so you can go through this problem yourself. The remaining solution of the same problem. This is the next problem. And the solution is provided on the following slides. So in this way, you can go through these problems. So simply the basic concepts of the compaction have been used in these problems. So the main focus in today's lecture is related to soil volume change characteristics, or you can say the earthwork and excavation. So in this regard, these four things are very, very important. Soil conditions, swell, shrinkage, load and shrinkage factors. First, look at the soil condition. There are three principal conditions or states in which earth moving material may exist. Bank, loose and compacted. So three conditions or states, bank, loose, compacted. Now what is meant by bank? Material in its natural state before disturbance, often referred to as in place or in situ. In place or in situ, these two terms are not new for you. So keep this thing in the mind that material in its natural state before disturbance is considered as bank, often referred to as in place or in situ. A unit volume is identified as a bank cubic yard BCY or a bank cubic meter BCM. So you can see that uh, BCY this is bank cubic yard, BCM, bank cubic meter. Then loose state, material that has been excavated or loaded. So we use this term loose for that. A unit volume is identified as a loose cubic yard, LCY, or loose cubic meter. So here you can see LCY, this stands for loose cubic yard and LCM that uh, uh, is uh, the loose cubic meter. Then comes a compacted state or condition, material after compaction. A unit volume is identified as a compacted cubic yard, CCY, 
or compacted cubic meter. So here you can see CCY, it stands for compacted cubic yard and the CCM compacted cubic meter. Now look at swell. What is the meaning of swell over here? A soil increases in volume when it is excavated because the soil grains are loosened during excavation and air fills the void spaces created. As a result, a unit volume of soil in the bank condition will occupy more than one unit volume after excavation. So this point must be noted with care. This phenomenon is called swell. Swell may be calculated as follows. So look at the formula. This is the formula to determine the swell in percentage. And here you would see one solid example. Find the swell of a soil that weighs 20,000 pound per cubic yard or 1661 kilogram per cubic meter in its natural state and 2,000 pound per cubic yard that is 1186 kilogram per cubic meter after excavation. So by using the formula, the formula which is shown on the previous uh, slide, you can just plug in the values over here and you can get the swell that is 40%. Either you are employing the units of pound per cubic yard over here or you are using the units of uh, kilogram per cubic meter. So you have got the percentage swell. So from this you can conclude that one bank cubic yard or one bank cubic meter of material will expand to 1.4 loose cubic yards or meters after excavation. So there will be swelling of 40%. So that's why it is 1 by 4 of loose. So it will expand to 1.4 loose cubic yards or meters after excavation. Now here you can consider the shrinkage. When a soil is compacted, some of the air is forced out of the soil's void spaces. As a result, the soil will occupy less volume than it did under either the bank or loose conditions. So this point must be noted with care. This phenomenon, which uh, is the reverse of the swell phenomenon is called shrinkage. The value of shrinkage may be determined as follows. Look at this formula. This formula is meant for the shrinkage. You can get the shrinkage percentage. Soil volume change due to excavation and compaction is illustrated in figure 2-2. I will show that one Later. Note that both swell and shrinkage are generally calculated from the bank or natural condition. So this point uh, must also be kept in the mind that both swell and shrinkage are generally, generally calculated from the bank or natural condition. So this is the figure 2.2 typical soil volume change during earth moving. So look at that, what is happening over here? One cubic yard in natural condition in place yard. So that much volume has been collected. And then look at this one. In this particular example, from this one cubic yard in natural condition, you have got 1.25 cubic yards after digging. That means the loose, loose yards. And then after compaction at the site, from this you are getting 
0.90 cubic yard after compaction. So this is basically the compacted yard. So I hope that from this particular figure, you are having the clear perception about the in-place yard, loose yards, and the compacted yards. Now here, another solid example. Find the shrinkage of a soil that weighs 2,800 pound per cubic yard or 1661 kilogram per cubic meter in its natural state and 3,500 pound per cubic yard or 2,077 kilogram per cubic meter after compaction. So simply by using the formula of shrinkage, you can simply plug in the values. Here we are using the units of pound per cubic yard and here we are using the units of kilogram per cubic meter and look at the answer that you are getting that is 20 percent so from that you can conclude that one cubic yard or one cubic meter of material will shrink to 0.8 compacted cubic yard or meter as a result of compaction so this 20% is uh, portraying the shrinkage, so that's why it is 0.8. Here you would find some description about the load and shrinkage factors. In performing earth moving calculations, it is important to convert all material volumes to a common unit of measure. I will repeat this, this point is very important. In performing earth moving calculations, it is important to convert all material volumes to a common unit of measure. Although the bank cubic yard or meter is most commonly used for this purpose, any of three volume units may be used. A pale yard or meter is the volume unit specified as a basis for payment in an earth moving contract. It may be any of three volume units. Because haul unit and spoil bank volume are commonly expressed in loose measure, it is convenient to have a conversion factor to simplify the conversion of loose volume to bank volume. The factor used for this purpose is called a load factor. A soil's load factor may be calculated by use of equation 2-6 or 2-7 which are given over here. So this is the formula for the load factor or you can use this formula which is in terms of swell. Loose volume is multiplied by the load factor to obtain bank volume. So this point is very important. I will repeat loose volume is multiplied by the load factor to obtain bank volume. A factor used for the conversion of bank volume to compacted volume is sometimes referred to as shrinkage factor. So this is uh, about the shrinkage factor. A factor used for the conversion of bank volume to compacted volume is sometimes referred to as shrinkage factor. The shrinkage factor may be calculated by the use of equation 2-8 or 2-9 which are given over here. So here the shrinkage factor in terms of weight over bank unit volume and weight over compacted unit volume and here it is in terms of shrinkage.
बैंक वॉल्यूम में भी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द श्रिंकेज फैक्टर टू अपटेन कंपैक्टेड वॉल्यूम और कंपैक्टेड वॉल्यूम में बी डिवाइडेड बाय द श्रिंकेज फैक्टर टू अपटेन बैंक वॉल्यूम सो दिस पॉइंट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई विल रिपीट दैट बैंक वॉल्यूम में बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द श्रिंकेज फैक्टर टू अपटेन कंपैक्टेड वॉल्यूम दैट्स वन थिंग और यू कैन टेक इट इन द अदर वे compacted volume may be divided by the shrinkage factor to obtain bank volume now here you would find one example a soil weighs 1960 pound per loose cubic yard lcw lcy or 1163 kg per loose cubic meter 2800 pound per bcy bcy bank cubic yard or 1661 kg per bcm and bcm stands for bank cubic meter and 3500 pound per ccy and here the ccy means compacted cubic yard and uh, this one is equivalent to 2077 kg per ccm and ccm stands for compacted cubic meter so we are having the soil weights in different conditions part a find the load factor and shrinkage factor for the soil how many bank cubic yards bcy or meters bcm and compacted cubic yard ccy or meter ccm are contained in 1 million loose cubic yards that is 593300 lcm of this soil so here you can see in the part a the load factor has been calculated by using the equation 2-6 and it is coming equal to 0.7 so using the both types of units we have got the same answer as far as the shrinkage factor is concerned by using the equation 2-8 uh, you have got the value of 0.8 either using this these units or the other one the second part the bank volume to calculate the bank volume you know this figure which is given in the question statement will be multiplied by 0.7 and in this way you are getting the bank volume and here you are getting in the units of bcm uh, to get the compacted volume this one the bank volume it will be multiplied by this 0.8 which is the shrinkage factor and this way you will be getting the compacted volume typical values of unit weight swell shrinkage load factor and shrinkage factor for some common earth moving materials are given in table 2-5 which is uh, present on the next slide so look at this table typical soil weight and volume change characteristics so for different materials clay common earth and the other materials rock sand and gravel loose condition bank compacted then the, the typical percentage of swell percentage shrinkage load factors and the shrinkage factor so there are two footnotes if you just look at that one so you can see that uh, there is one thing which is mentioned over here that exact value may vary with grain size distribution moisture compaction and other factor test are required to determine exact values for a specific soil so this uh, is relevant to this one you know for this entire table and then look at this one shrinkage is minus 30 so it means in fact you are not having the shrinkage the minus sign is showing this thing so the reason is that it is for 
the rock blasted rock compacted rock is less dense than is in place rock so that's why you know here the negative sign is there so i will repeat this one that compacted rock is less dense than is in place rock So earthwork and excavation, the correlation between volume, swell, and shrinkage are shown in the following equation. These equations or formulas are very important. If you just look at these formulas, different variables are involved. L, the volume of loose soil. B, the volume of undisturbed soil. C, is volume of compacted soil. And this SW, it in fact showing the swell, so that's why we're using SW, percentage of swell in fact, and SH, percentage of shrinkage. So I will repeat that over here, L stands for volume of loose soil, B is the volume of undisturbed soil, C is the volume of compacted soil, SW, percentage of swell, and SH percentage of shrinkage. And you can see that L, this one, and it has been related to percentage of swell SW and B, that is the volume of undisturbed soil. And here the C, this is uh, the volume of compacted soil, and it has been related to percentage of shrinkage and the volume of undisturbed soil. Now in this particular slide, you can see the range of swell factors for some materials. Sand or gravel, 10 to 15 percent, loam, 15 to 20, common earth, 20 to 30, hard clay, 25 to 40, blasted rock, 50 to 60. Now at the end, you would find one solid example. Clay soil with a bank unit weight of 1.7 ton per cubic meter is excavated, hauled by 17 cubic meter loose mayer trucks and placed in a fill and compacted. The empty weight of the truck is 30.6 ton. The swell factor and shrinkage factor respectively are 30 and 15 percent. So in this problem, swell factor and shrinkage factors are both given. So calculate the following. Part one, equivalent bank measure volume and compacted measure volume for the 17 cubic meter truck load of soil and uh, number two part the total vertical weight of the hauling unit with the payload of the soil so these are the two things that you will have to determine so you would find the solution of this problem on the next slide so if you just look at uh, the information or the data so you can see here the bank unit weight is given, loose volume is given, empty weight of the truck is given, the swell factor and the shrinkage factors are given. So by employing all that information, you will be able to uh, solve this problem. So in part one, equivalent bank measure volume and compacted measure volume for the 17 cubic meter truck load of the soil and in part two, the total vertical weight of the hauling unit with the payload of the soil. So you can see the solution. So by using the formula, this one, equivalent loose measure volume can be determined. Uh, actually, uh, the, the, this is this formula is meant for equivalent loose uh, measure volume, which is in fact given in the question statement. 
by using this formula we can determine B and you know B that is the volume of undisturbed soils so just plug in the values and you can see it is coming equal to 13.08 cubic meter bank volume then you can use the formula for C and you know C this is the volume of compacted soil so by using this formula just plug in the values and you are getting 11.12 cubic meter compacted volume then weight of soil in bank volume that would be 1.7 into 13.08 that means uh, this is 22.24 tons weight of soil per unit loose volume that would be 22.24 divided by 17 this one you know so 1.308 ton per cubic meter then soil payload that would be 1.308 into 17 so that is 22.24 tons per truck as you know the empty weight of truck is 30.6 ton so the total weight of truck with payload would be this one plus this so 30.6 plus 22.24 so in this way we have solved this problem so in this lecture you uh, you have found uh, some solved problem related to compaction and then we have discussed the important concepts related to earthwork and the excavation. Thank you.